morning you guys and dear students welcome again back to the class today 12th october 2020 monday have a nice day to you all as you are knowing that nowadays we are reading english reader flamingo book lesson 4 the rat trap authored by selma leather law in prose sec section in last video you have attempted the word word meaning from the first part of this lesson now the next one is one dark evening as he was trudging along the road he caught sight of a little grey cottage by the roadside and he knocked on the door to ask shelter for the night nor was he refused instead of the sour faces which ordinary met him the owner who was an old man without wife or child was happy to get someone to talk to in his loneliness immediately he put the porridge pot on the fire and gave him supper then he carved off such a big slice from his tobacco roll that it was enough both for the stranger's pipe and his own finally he got out an old pack of cards and played jollish with his guest until bed time the old man was just as generous with his confidences as with his porridge and tobacco the guest was informed at once that in his days of prosperity his host had been a crofter at ramzo iron works and had worked on the land now that he was no longer able to do day labor it was his cow which supported him yes that bossy was extraordinary she could give milk for the creamery every day and last month he had received all of 30 kroners in payment the stranger must have seemed incredulous for the old man got up and and went to the window took down a leather pouch which hung on a nail in the very window frame and picked out three wrinkled ten kroner bills these he held up before the eyes of the guest noting knowingly and then stuffed them back into the pouch glossary word meaning from these passages are like this loneliness means solitary atmosphere carved off means cut off cut into slice means a thin broad piece cut from a longer portion jollish means a game of cards generous means liberal confidence it means secret thing or personal affairs prosperity means flourishing host means master crafter means farmer iron box means iron mill or workshop supported means brought up bossy means it is used for the cow uncommon creamery means dairy or milk booth kroner means plural of krona the basic monetary unit of sweden equal to 100 or incredulous means unwilling to believe pouch means a small flexible bag wrinkled means creased or shrunken nodding means moving head slightly up and down in ascent stuffed means put or held the next day both men got up in good season the crofter was in a hurry to milk his cow and the other man probably thought he should not stay in bed when the head of the house had gotten up they left the cottage at the same time the crofter locked the door and put the key in his pocket the man with the red trap said good bye and thank you and there upon each went his own way but half an hour later the red trap peddler stood again before the door he did not try to get in however he only went up to the window smashed a pane stuck in his hand and got hold of the pouch with the 30 kroner he took the money and thrust it into his own pocket then he hung the leather pouch very carefully back in its place and went away now the further word meanings are like this Stuffed means put or filled. In good season means in pleasant way. 
Peddler means hawker or seller. Pen means glass. Smashed means got into pieces. Stuck in means thrust in. Smarter means quick intelligence. Confusion means perplexing. As he walked along with the money in his pocket, he felt quite pleasant with his smartness. He realized, of course, that at he realized, of course, that at first he dared not continue on the public highway, but must turn off the road into the woods. During the first hours, this caused him no difficulty. Later in the day, it becomes worse, for it was a big and confusing forest, and he had gotten into. He tried to be sure to walk in a definite direction, but the path twisted back and forth so strangely. He walked and walked without coming to the end of the wood, and finally he realized that he had only been walking around in the same part of the forest. All at once he recalled his thoughts about the world and the rat trap. Now his own turn had come. He had let himself be fooled by a bear and had been caught. The whole forest with its trunks and branches, its thickest and fallen logs, closed in upon him like an impenetrable prison from which he could not, could never escape. Twisted means formed into a distorted shape. Back and forth means to and fro. Recalled means remembered. Thickets, thickets means big or thick bushes. Locks means trunks of tree. Escape means breath free from confinement or control. Now the short answer type questions, textual short answer type questions from this part. First one is, from where did the peddler get the idea of the world being a rat trap? Answer, the peddler had naturally been thinking of his rat trap when suddenly he was struck by the idea that the whole world was nothing but a big rat trap. The world sets beats for people as the rat trap offered cheese and pork as soon as anyone was tempted to touch the bait, it closed in on him. Question number second, why was he amused by this idea? Answer, the world had never been very kind to the paddler, so this idea amused him. It became a cherished pastime of his during his dreary plottings to think of people who had been caught in the dangerous snare and of others who were still circling around the bay. Question number third. Did the peddler expect the kind of hospitality that he received from the crofter? Answer, no. The peddler did not expect such kind of hospitality as he received from the crofter because he generally met sore faces when he knocked at their door. The first or the third question, both are very most important. You should have to prepare these questions, attempt these word meanings or textual short answer type questions in your fair notebook. Nice meeting to you the next day. Have a good day. Thank you.